Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and we are presented by the Hula Bowl. Uh, this interview is sponsored by Underdog Athletics. Underdog Athletics is a Christian-based uh, company that sells athletic wear. Uh, Underdog uh, is uh, an acronym for Underestimated, Never Defeated, Remain Dependent on God. Shop now at www.undrdogx.com. Today I have with me Antoine Kincaid. Uh, he's a safety out of Western Kentucky. Uh, how are you doing today, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. It's an honor just to be here. Yeah, man. Uh, it's been fun. Um, I feel like a lot of our scouts uh, actually spent a whole lot of time at your guys' games lately, whether or not we were scouting you or scouting, um, you know, maybe your opposition. But um, uh, we we – we felt that you were a you know, pretty good player, decided to invite you down to the Hula Bowl. And, um, uh, hey, man, it, it's nice that you, to, to have you down there. Um, so uh, why don't you go ahead and kind of start us out a little bit. Give us, like, a, a brief background, if you don't mind. Oh, uh, yes, like you said, uh, they came and spent a whole lot of time down here at our games in Western Kentucky. Uh, no matter what we played, Michigan State, uh, I've seen them in, uh, in Miami a couple times. So, uh, yeah, WKU was – uh, feel with a whole lot of amazing young talent and uh in the future there's gonna be a whole lot of you know other guys that get looked at. Uh just my background man I've been here um doing my fifth year here. Uh, I was um guaranteed for, uh, through COVID to do another year so that was an, a blessing from God. Uh and just you know being here an extra year just uh just gave me the, the strength and just gave me just uh an incredible you know analysis of uh what I need to do just to get to the NFL draft. So uh, I think guys like uh, my co coach, uh, DC coordinator, uh, Mo Crum, uh, he did, did an amazing job just uh, just showing me the ropes of how things uh, go throughout the year. And I'm just honored to just be here. Right. Well, I mean, um, again, Antoine, we feel like, you know, you you got a lot going for you as prospect. Um, wanted to kind of uh, uh, read a little something that one of our scouts wrote for you. So uh, bear with me for just a moment. Um, uh, they were doing this one evaluation, and they wrote uh, strong athletic, uh, good athletic ability, uh, shows quality ability to read plays, has good range and coverability in the passing game, uh, shows good body control to disrupt routes versus wide receivers and tight ends, uh, and, and a very good tackler who's able to uh, limit those, uh, those yak, like the, the yards after catch. Um, so um, how would you define yourself? I mean, maybe just kind of reflecting either on that or just otherwise, how would you see yourself as a prospect? Uh, just in high school, uh, I had an amazing coach in Allen Rodemaker. He always, you know, hard to be in physical, the most physical team wins. And that's what I, all this, you know, aggressiveness and <laughs> toughness come from with me. Uh, just you know, having the teammates like Zagol McLean at Auburn University, uh, Jace Rogers uh, at uh, University of Houston, uh, guys like Jonte Baker, you know, just you know, competing with all these years uh, has done has done me you know, like incredible like justice out here. So, uh, you know, just being able just to get out there and compete against the best guys uh, that this country has to offer uh, has has been a blessing for me. Yeah, I mean, um, it's interesting. You know, last season I sat down with one of your former teammates, uh, Deontay Ruffin, and he, here's what he had to say. Um, Versatile, versatile enough to play all over the field. Um, do you feel like that's one of your best attributes as a prospect? I mean, um, what do you, what do you think that um, what, what do you think about that? You 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 kind of agree with that or no? Uh, yeah, of course I agree with that, man. Uh, anything uh, those guys like that have to say about me, uh, I'm going to back it up regardless. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Deontay Ruffin, uh, an amazing athlete. Uh, he's my roommate, my first ever roommate coming here to West Kentucky. Uh, we came in, we was uh, some, some dominant forces out here, man. We came in as freshmen. We we dominated the runs and everything like that. Uh, just me just being able to, you know, just pick up, you know, what football has to offer, like uh, the different coverages, the different run responsibilities. Uh, I'm, I'm a great guy at doing that. So that's why I'm so versatile. So are, are, are you the guy that's maybe playing down like in the box or, or, or are you playing like up high or, or, or where are you typically uh, assigned like, you know, throughout the course of the game? Throughout the course of the game, man, I can be anywhere, man. I can be on a line of scrimmage, uh, 20 yards deep in the post, 
uh, outside the numbers. I can be anywhere, man. That's that what gets me such a, a great edge on a game of football. I can I play anywhere for you. Gotcha. So um, uh, when you're looking at guys, maybe perhaps at the next level, who are the guys that are uh, doing it, doing it in the NFL that maybe you're uh, you know, looking at studying, maybe trying to, you know, uh, take apart their film a little bit, add a little bit of their, uh, of their game to yours. Um, who are those guys at the next level that you, uh, model yourself after? Uh, okay. I see like the honey badger, Tyrion Matthew at the, the, uh, Kansas city chiefs, uh, Buda Baker, the Arizona Cardinals. I just watched those guys, uh, play. I just watched Buda Baker play the other night, uh, against the Rams, uh, it was just amazing how how rangy he is. Uh, he was one play he was about 25 yards deep in the post. Uh, another play he was on a line of scrimmage. Another play he was uh, at Mike linebacker. You know, just you know, just creating havoc anywhere he is, man. And he's just such a versatile player. I watched Tyran Matthew. He the way he disguises in his coverage, the way he uh, swim moves. You know, offensive of lineman. It's just you know watching those guys and seeing how productive they are in the run game and the passing game, it just gives me a different edge of my game. And I just love watching the film on them. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, again, we, we invited you down to the, to the hula ball, which is going to be in Orlando this year. Um, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to, you know, uh, you know, put you into that defense, whether they're going to play you up or, or back or what have you. But I mean, again, having that versatility to pretty much just kind of go out there, you know, a lot of times people try and pigeonhole uh, safety saying he's either a box safety or a single high safety or what have you. But, you know, having that uh, ability to kind of flip flop a little bit, I think really helps, you, you know, you as a prospect overall. So, um, Antoine, tell me a little bit about like uh, your typical grind, you know, like kind of what a, a, a typical week looks like for you. I mean, I know right now you guys are uh, preparing for your final game there for a bowl game. Um, how does that kind of, you know, work for you whenever you're, you know, studying film in the weight room out there for practice, just kind of walk me through like your normal week, if you don't mind. Okay. We start every week on a Sunday, the Lord's day, we like to call it. We start every day on a Lord's day, Sunday, uh, we come in, we hit the weights. Um, say we had just come from a game Saturday. Uh, we knock out some film, knock out some correction Sunday. Uh, go out and do a walkthrough so we can see it, vis we can visualize it, and then we can do it physically on the field. Uh, so we do that all on Sunday. Uh, you know, we leave about, you know, around evening, 6 o'clock. Uh, Monday we come in, We're that's our off day. Uh, Monday is our off day, for a day to, you know, get your legs back under you and get some relaxing and get some more film work in on your, your next opponent. Um, Monday is a very important day for me because I actually, you know, get to – uh, get away from the physical aspect of the game and just, you know, learn mentally, you know, uh, the, the corrections I need to make. Uh, if I miss the tackle, how can I make a better tackle next time? Uh, if I misjudge the ball in the air, what I need to do the next game to make it happen. So, um, yeah, Monday is just a, a mental day, and we need that as a, as players, as football players. Uh, Tuesday, is like, that's our grind day, man. That's our toughest, you know, day of the week. Come out in full pads. Uh, it'd it be steaming hot in Kentucky in the fall, and then it gets cold in, in, uh, as it breaks uh, to the winter. So um, uh, Tuesday, that's our, that's our grind day. Uh, we do everything uh, special team-wise. We, we, we go hard. Uh, we probably have some uh, uh, rangy thud periods, man. It's, it's just so aggressive that day. Uh, Wednesday, uh, that's the day that uh, we put, you know, all our, our, our best calls in, you know, for – uh, for third downs and, 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 and short yardage and stuff like that. So we go through all that on Wednesday, uh, Thursday, uh, you know, a kind of, you know, laid back day, uh, see what we can do uh, as far as, um, you know, scheming our next opponent, what do we need to add on, what do we need to take out, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and Friday, uh, that's that's our day, our walkthrough. Uh, we, do, we do a lot on Friday, you know, as far as mental-wise as well as Monday. But we, we actually add another practice Friday. So, yeah, we go through the motion. Uh, we go through our keys, our responsibilities uh, as a position group and things like that and get a whole lot of recovery in because recovery is important and uh, essential uh, to play a good game. You know, Saturdays, you know, that's game day, man. Uh, Saturday morning, all we do is, uh, you know, just, you know, a bit, little bit of meditating, you know, come in and listen to music and, you know, just get your mind right, look over some notes that you need to look over and stuff like that. And then 
uh, once game take once game time hit, we play. Nice. Um, and real quick, let's just kind of uh, chat about the weight room real quick. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, you got to get in there, get, get your work done in there as well. Uh, just kind of give me like a real quick uh, uh, answer when um, when I ask like, what's your uh, approach to the weight room, and maybe even give me your favorite lift if you got one. Oh yeah, uh, Coach Velkamp. Uh, that's, that's a guy came in uh, about about four years ago. Uh, he came in with us. Um, he's an incredible guy. He he focused on the things that we need to focus on as far as you know flexibility, like just a whole lot of mobility work. Uh, but he he's very intense in off season, man. He he wants you to get strong. He wants you to get fast. He wants you to be more flexible. So uh, it's a it's a grind with him. It's like a Tuesday practice with him uh, every day in the off season. So uh, just coming into the weight room, man. I, I just love uh, when it's hand clean day, man. I, I love hand clean day because that's a uh, weightlifting job of, of everything you do. Uh, the squats, the the bench, it, it's just a, a, a technique thing, you know. So in football, I feel like you need to have a lot of technique, you know, to, to be a, a pro. So uh, I try to have the best technique I can in hand clean. I watch others the way they do it and things like that. But uh coming in that weight room man you got to know it's gonna be a grind you got to come in there hey man you got to come in there with i'm finna come in here and work because if you don't he's gonna he's gonna kick you out you're gonna be sliding on a little sliding board outside so man so it, it's very it's very uh loving that we got a guy like him yeah i mean um like you were saying i mean um some of those olympic lifts uh you know some guys um just don't have the form down you know maybe aren't mm -hmm. used to it i mean you know some some high schools maybe that don't focus on them too much or they just don't have the technique down or what have you or maybe even not like the the equipment um and so obviously for some people it takes them a while to adjust but obviously like you said you know having some great coaches that have helped you along the way you know mm -hmm. in order to you know build you up a little bit and get you stronger and, and, and do those lifts properly definitely, you know, really helps you. Um, uh, again, let's continue on. I mean, uh, pregame, pregame for you. Got You got any crazy pregame rituals or anything that you, you do or you, is it just kind of norm for you? Uh, actually, it's, it's this is kind of, I don't know if it's kind of weird for guys, but uh, actually pregame, man, I just, you know how others go out and, you know, they warm up and, you know, just get their catches in and stuff like that. I just like to sit in the weight – I mean, in my locker room, in my locker or the opposing team locker room when we go away on away games and just, you know, just meditate and just listen to some music, you feel me, just get my mind together, uh, you know, just before I go out there on the field and everything like that. And I like to go out there and just just pray, you know, just thank God for this, this loving game he's given us. Uh, thank him for uh, – uh, uh injury free game uh and stuff like that so uh that's kind of my ritual pregame gotcha and then that's just kind of shift to like um maybe some of your best high highlights of your career man i mean just kind of looking at your career as of right now i mean dude you got over 300 tackles so i mean <laughs> obviously make it making a whole lot of plays out there um give me maybe one of the best moments uh that you've ever had there you know as a hilltop uh, it was actually my freshman year, second game. I was playing at University of Illinois. Um, uh, I came in, uh, you know, about third quarter. Uh, I think we were down about, you know, 17 points. Uh, I guess my coach, uh, Clayton White, he wanted to get a, a new look in there, get a, a brand new look. So I came in there at the nickel position, actually. And I remember um, – I seen a play action. I was like, oh, I seen this before. You know, I played Jake from a high school. It, it looked just like he did it, you know. So like I seen this before before. So I uh buzzed, did my keys and everything, and buzzed underneath one and it made a spectacular catch on my fingertips uh for my first career interception. So uh that was the most uh, memorable moment and my favorite moment of, of college football. Awesome. So and obviously you've had a whole lot of more moments, a whole lot of great plays as well. I mean Again, like we've already mentioned, being there for, you know, uh, an extra year because of COVID. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, th there are pros and cons of that, I think, too, because, I mean, that does give you a whole lot more experience. I mean, um, you guys were, were still able to go out there, you know, once again this season and, and perform and do an excellent job. So mm -hmm. um, having an extra year of experience, you know, never really a bad thing. And obviously, you know, situating you uh, – 
to you know make that jump maybe perhaps that to the next level in the pros so yes. um let's take a moment man i want to get to know who uh this antoine kincaid person is like outside of football so um uh, tell me a little bit of something about yourself something fun unique interesting um hobbies or, or what have you tell me something fun uh uh actually um i started you know this this journey of mine in Jacksonville, Florida, you know, just growing up as a, as a, as a child, as a kid. Um, and then, you know, transitioning into Georgia about middle school years. Uh, but in Jacksonville, Florida, I started out, you know, just playing a whole lot of uh, yard football, man. Uh, I never played, you know, little league football in Jacksonville. I, cause we, I guess uh, my mother didn't have time, you know, just, just to take me to practice or whatever. So I had to actually wait till I was about 12 years old to play football. So I spent my years just playing yard football. That's how I got, you know, actually good and stuff like that. So uh, I started loving football and then just the overall uh, being of being around sports period just gave me uh, an, an, an honorable feeling. Um, started running track, uh, playing a little basketball uh, for JV in high school. But uh, that's a, a hobby of mine is, you know, just going out. Uh, being with the people I care about, you know, skating and uh, bowling, like I just did with my teammates uh, a few hours ago, uh, you know, just being around the, the company uh, of those who, who I love and I know love me back. And, you know, just, I guess, you know, playing, you know, video games, you know, just sitting around, lounging around when I have time, because I really, you know, rarely have time, you know, just to, you know, play a video game and, I know I'm about to get in ground mode as I get ready for the NFL draft and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, that's, those are just some hobbies of mine. Gotcha. Um, and uh, again, uh, a kid from uh, Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit of something about your hometown, dude. Like if I were to come visit you in your hometown, you know, where would we have to go? What would we have to do? Uh, I would say in Valdosta, Georgia, Sure. Probably in Valdosta, Georgia, man. Valdosta, Georgia is just based around football, man. I mean, uh, it's not a lot. It's a, it's a very small town. Um, it's, it's called Tidy Town, if you didn't know. It's Valdosta Wildcats and uh, the Lounge Vikings, uh, they are, you know, our enemies or whatever. So um, it's just a football town, man. If if you ever come, football is just, just year-round. Like, every, like, we're seven on seven, you know, you know, getting together in the community just to play some type of football, you know, just if you ever come to what Austin, just know it's going to be about football, man. Just, just that. Gotcha. Did you grow up a Falcons fan or something? Uh, no. Nah. See, I was, I started in Jacksonville, Florida. That's where I was originally at. Oh, okay. First. Okay. Cause so I'm a Jacksonville Jaguar, man. We, we, we suck bad, but I'm a Jacksonville Jaguar. <laughs> no, that, I know. I feel you. It's all right. I mean, you got to show a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, just, of loyalty i mean i try and say loyal to my team as well through the ups and downs so i mean you gotta you, you gotta be there i'm not jumping ship so um you, you gotta wait through it because you never know who like who's gonna come around and turn the whole franchise around <laughs> um all right bud let's go ahead and wrap this thing up a little bit i mean um i, I do want you to get a chance to uh really address some scouts. I mean, um, they've obviously been to your games, maybe to your practices. Um, I know when you come down to the Hula Bowl uh, in Orlando, there's going to be several, you know, scouts really from everywhere. Every team in the NFL is going to be there. Um, so I, I want you to kind of address them right now and tell them what's so special about Antoine Kincaid and why they need to uh, bring you into their program. So, uh, go ahead and address them and give them your pitch. Uh, just basically, man, Antoine Kincaid, that's a, a very versatile guy uh, given to you by Deontay Ruffin, uh, a fellow, a former teammate of mine. Um, just a guy's going to come in and he's going to learn uh, everything he needs to do. He's going to do everything right. He's going to be on time. Uh, he's going to be, you know, patient for wh whatever's needed to be patient for. Uh, and he's just going to be a guy. That, that always, you know, is going to find the answer to anything. Even if I don't know it right then, I'm going to find the answer to anything and I'm going to get the job done. So that's that's me. That's my background. Gotcha. I mean, uh, again, like we had already mentioned, like it, like you had reiterated, um, a versatile guy, uh, you know, very, uh, you know, 
a solid solid tackler, you know, really willing and, and able to, uh, you know, even tackle like the big boys, like the tight ends mm-hmm. and cover those guys as well. So um, I really think that you do bring a lot, uh, you know, to the table as a prospect. I mean, obviously we're inviting you to our game. Um, we ex- obviously um, expect you and several other athletes uh, coming down to Orlando uh, you know, for the Hula Bowl. Hula Bowl, again, is uh, January 15th uh, this mm-hmm. season, uh, and people that are interested can uh, purchase tickets uh, via Ticketmaster.com. Um, this interview was sponsored by Underdog Athletics. Um, I, I have, again, with me, uh, this is Antoine Kincaid, safety out of Western Kentucky. Uh, thanks again for this interview, bud. Appreciate you. I Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. Sure, no problem. A big mahalo for watching and uh, have a blessed day.